Let's meet the masters of sculpture, paint, and literature in this arts edition of the WHR. I'm Arthur, and I'll be your guide as we delve into the world of the great artists of the past. On September 8, 1504, Michelangelo's statue of David was unveiled in Florence. Michelangelo created David from a single piece of marble that had been twice discarded by other sculptors and had been waiting for 40 years for someone to turn it into a masterpiece. When the city of Florence commissioned Michelangelo, they wanted a statue of David to decorate the roof of the enormous Duomo, along with 11 other Old Testament heroes. But when people saw the completed statue, they quickly realized that it was way too spectacular and too big to be put on the roof. Nine different locations were considered, and finally Michelangelo's David was unveiled on 8th of September, 1504, at the entrance to the Palazzo della Signoria, Florence's town hall. And as such, it became a de facto symbol of Florence. If you look at many classical sculptures, there is almost always one thing that they have in common. There is a car, tree trunk, or boulder behind the figure, supposedly adding a bit of scenery to the piece. But surprise, surprise, it's the technical trick that has been used since ancient times. Sculptors, including Michelangelo, knew that marble block needs a certain amount of stability in order to withstand chiseling and not shatter. So next time you look at David's statue, you'll know why it has a tree trunk in the back. On the 9th of September, we celebrate the birthday of the legendary author of War and Peace. The Russian author, who is known to pretty much everyone, even in the English-speaking world, is, is Leo Tolstoy, was born in 1828. War and Peace is unique. It tells of real events, recreates real battles, and includes real people like Napoleon Bonaparte and Tsar Alexander I. On September 7th, we celebrate the birthday of American painter, Grandma Moses. Can you imagine that she started painting at 76 years old? Her paintings were always cheerful and full of light. In 1646, 16 million Grandma Moses Christmas cards were sold, 10 years after she started her artist career. And at 93 years old, Time magazine featured her on its cover. It's never too late to start following your dreams. Even I know that. Join me again as we learn more fascinating facts on the WHR or World History Report.